This is a translated segment of the Russian CTC channel program Stories in Detail, featuring Theater Shkidi, the municipal theater company of Zelenogorsk, St. Petersburg, Russia. Stories in Detail is similar to the American program Entertainment Tonight. Theater Shkidi was founded by Rishat Valetov and Tatiana Zbushevska in 1996. We should talk from the stage only when it is really necessary to talk. There are many sounds in life which we do not understand as language. The sound of birds, the sound of waves crashing against the beach, the sound of the wind. They're speaking with us and providing us with a huge amount of information, without words, without verbal communication. The meaning of the sounds is simple to anyone to understand, anyone from all around the world, German, Italian, American, anyone. It is a law of nature. Those who understand the sounds of nature cannot describe them or don't choose to. For people like Rishat and Tanya, the world is forever left in the age of silent movies. People's feelings have not changed from that time to this. Everything that is going on inside is still written on the face, or painted. Theodor Shkidi has its roots making faces from 20 years ago in Tashkent, Uzbekistan, with the famous Birds from the South Theater Group. The fall of the Soviet Union led to the demise of Birds of the South, and Rishat and Tanya moved to St. Petersburg. The Soviet Empire crashed, and people say that it crashed because of words. When Rishat and Tanya left Tashkent, they had many offers to relocate to other countries in the West. Many talented people were tempted to move to the West. Rishat and Tanya overcame the temptation and moved to St. Petersburg. Now there are many possibilities to live elsewhere in the world. When we are elsewhere, for example in California, we're always thinking about our pond, our birches, our raspberries, our home in Zelenogorsk. We have opportunities, for example, colleagues in New York who say, stay here, stay in New York. But no, I am here, I'm sitting in Zelenogorsk, and I want to stay here. We stay in contact with many theaters, with many of our friends, like Anton Adesinski and Slava Poluni. We're in contact, we call each other. Once in a conversation with Slava Polunin, he said that he wanted to build a small settlement in Zelenogorsk for all the theaters, for all the actors in his theater company. He never realized this dream, but Shkidi now has such a community. We have a Shkidi settlement. Slava did not reach this goal, but Shkidi did. The name Shkidi came from the people of St. Petersburg. It has multiple meanings in Russian. Perhaps they gave this name because of the mischievous nature of the performers. Shkodny in Russian. Or maybe because the, this crowd can't be contained in a single house, Shkid. Shkidi stands for Shkola Kulturi i Dostanovo Iskustva the school of culture and worthy art. They are citizens of the world. Today, the city government is building a theater complex for Shkidi in Zelenogorsk. Some of the actors in St. Petersburg come to take master's classes from us. 
because all of them are very interested in our school. How do we achieve our theatrical goals? How do we achieve our results? We don't train our actors in the same way as a ballet school. We don't train them as physical theater or dance. We're not training as conventional pantomime. But our actors can do all of those things, as if they had been trained in ballet, in physical theater, in dance, in pantomime. To say very shortly the secret of our school, it is to give actors the ability to feel that harmony from inside. Shkidi is learning their own way, not just from video and books. In St. Petersburg's street show, there are six million people in the potential audience. In a street show, there is full contact. Here Shkidi is testing assumptions and groundwork and discovering new themes, new stories, new tricks. Working on the street is total improvisation. You don't know where your next step will take you. For them, street performance is a litmus test of their art. The audience is not constrained by seats or walls. They're free to stay or go, to watch or to ignore, to participate or to remain passive. Street performance is an important part of our school. Working on the street discovers the caliber of the actors, their level of experience, and how an actor can drive the situation. It shows how the actor alone can bring the audience into the play. There is no special lighting, no sound, no sets. Actors on the streets are not covered. They have no protection, no crutches. How is the actor making contact with the audience? It shows how the actor can build his own play, his own world. He builds around himself a sort of a magic field. People who are within reach of this field start to become interested. They start to become involved in the process without coercion, without invitation, seamlessly, because it is interesting to them. They became involved because they want to be part of the play. Those people who are not interested can pass by and go on their own way. Shkidi spends most of their lives outdoors, including performance preparation, without sets, decorations, or props, using what they can find in nature, doing stretching exercises by moving seashells from one foot to the other. Training and body coordination are accomplished in the presence of the sea. Back to nature, because there are many things to be learned from nature. The secret is very simple. It is not necessary to teach birds to flap their wings to fly. To work in our theater, it is necessary to meet some simple and specific criteria. A gesture is not just the moving of the body. It is the moving of the soul. Of course the body should be well trained, so that the soul never encounters any limitations of motion. That is why the body must be very well trained. If the body is not trained and the soul wants to make a broad, sweeping gesture, then the body frustrates the intent of the soul. That is why we do our training outdoors, at the seacoast, in the forest, on the lakes. Three hundred seven students have passed through the hands of Rashat and Tanya. To state it more precisely, three hundred passed and seven remained. Two of these are truly mischievous. The two young Mashas are not simple apprentices. They are already primas in their craft. They came here through the theater studio conducted by Tanya and Rishat. The two little girls who are traveling with us on our tours and in our performances, one of them plays one of the main roles. The other plays a character in the first character's dreams. There is often confusion in the eyes of festival organizers when we arrive. Who is this, they ask. Actors, we reply. After the performance, there is no question. For example, in Turkey, the president of the National Theater Union came backstage after the performance to kiss Masha's hand. Everything in this life is simple. All the simple things are on the surface before us. But we're always looking past them. We can't see them. And we're just passing by without noticing. Most people try to find deep meaning in the simple things, without seeing the things that are in front of their eyes. It is most difficult to understand that everything is simple.